Welcome to Dynamic Hunter Group. I'm Sandeep Kulkarni. Welcome you to the new small video on preparing crucible for line. So let us start the presentation. Guidelines for breaking the old lining. Do not remove worn out lining without witnessing. It is important to note the lining breaking observations. Major lift over thickness of lining. Erosion up to 50% is safe. While breaking old lining, please check how much portion of the lining is centered and how much is in powder form. More is the powder form, better will be the coil cooling efficiency. It also prevents metal, prevention, metal penetration. During breaking of lining, do not use water for cooling the lining. It will make cementing wet and will create problem during sintering due to absorbed moisture by the cement. During breaking of lining, take care of that tool used for breaking lining will not damage the coil or coil coating. Before start of lining, ensure that all the nut bolts of the furnace and coil are tightened. Coil helps cementing and lining to hold together so if nut bolts are loose, it will weaken the cementing and lining and thus lining life will get affected. Do check the hydraulic attached to the furnace for oil leakage before lining. Clean the area below furnace before start of lining by removing scrap, sand, dust and other non-required material. While doing it, please ensure the safety of the furnace and the manpower as hydraulic should be properly used and you should use a bar uh, between the furnace crucible and the ground so that furnace will not fall down while cleaning the furnace area or rather area be below the furnace so safety is ensured. Use 0 to 1 mm size for the coil grounding. This should not be more than 3 to 5 mm thick. This layer supports ramming mass and coil. Do not apply coil cement too thick. Coil cement should be smooth in straight line. Thickness should be 3 to 5 mm. Allow enough time for cementing to get dry. Do not use asbestos or mica sheet during lining. It restricts water cooling and reduces powder layer, thereby safety of coil gets hampered. Earth antenna. So this is the, uh, we can say, inspection of earth antenna, a guideline for uh, earth antenna, the height, the diameter, the diameter of the wire. So you have to inspect earth antenna accordingly. The material is, of course, stainless steel. Lining firmer. Do not provide holes on firmer of any size. Drilled hole of 3 mm dia should be provided no holes by gas cutting or welding. So you require hole, but it should be drilled properly and diameter around 3 mm to be provided. Thickness of lining former sheet is also important. It should be more than 5 mm, should not be less than 5 mm, and it will give enough strength to the lining for the standing during the sintering cycle. So thickness of lining former, the gauge, it should be minimum 5 mm. Lining former must be round. Oval former will give irregular wall at the side lining, which will affect or reduce lining life. It is better to clean the lining former before use to avoid rust, weight, or oily former use as it is will affect lining quality and will reduce lining life. Many times we purchase lining former in the evening just one day before lining, which is not allowing the proper inspection of lining former which may cause you a problem in getting consistent lining life. So plan the formal purchase at least three to four days in advance, giving the quality to inspect the lining former properly. And if there is any issue with the lining former dimensions, one can replace it or change it with a right design of the form. Checkpoints for the lining former, diameter of the lining former, ovality of the former, height of the lining former, taper height of the lining former, no number of holes on the former, hole diameter, former sheet thickness, and weight of the former. 
So this is a design. The first one is not correct. On my left, it is not correct. It is a very uh, simple type of former, which is not correct. The two, which is on right side of my my uh, right side, are correct former design. So this is a, a former with a hole of three mm diameter. On the former, the date has been right there. So inspection of former is very important. This is the guideline for the inspection of former. The height, the taper height, the diameter, the cage, everything has to be properly, number of holes, the whole diameter, everything has to be properly measured before you use the former for lining. The ovality has to be checked on all the four sides, sides of the former. It's, it is always better to take advice from your furnace manufacturer while deciding the former design. So as we have seen the design of the former here, uh, the design of the former has been decided by the furnace manufacturer. So you have to take him in confidence while changing the uh, former design at any stage of point. Also cleanliness needed to be maintained near furnace during lining to get better lining life, ensure no metallics gets inside the lining. So all the op operator attending the lining must empty out their pockets free from metallics, watch, wallet, pen, etc. So that no metallic or foreign particles get inside the lining, which will affect the lining life as well. Plan for the labor lining tools or the antenna former available in good condition for the lining. I avoid doing lining of furnace when other furnace is running besides it as it will flash metallic particles in the lining furnace which will affect or reduce lining life. So try to avoid doing lining in a running condition, try to plan it on weekly off mainly, also give enough time for uh, lining because it will take another, uh, about eight hours to break the lining, around eight hours for cementing to get done, then around eight hours to cementing to get dried and then lining and centering. So almost we can say two days is the timing which you have to give for any furnace lining, weekly off plus one more day. So it is always advisable to have one square furnace with you so that you can plan a lining of square furnace and run another furnace. If you are using the plain rhyming mass and if you are planning to add boric acid or boron oxide in rhyming mass during the lining, plan for clean stainless steel tray. Heating material, if the tray does not have electrical coil in advance, has to be properly arranged. So you, if you are using plain rhyming mass, you have to take care of addition of boric acid or boron oxide with a proper heating. The tray should be stainless steel tray. There, there are chances of the improper addition of additives like boric acid or boron oxide by weight. It can also be improper mixing of additive in the rhyming mass and the temperature also can be a, another variable when you are adding this boring, boric acid or boron oxide in a plain rhyming mass. Also, it will have another variable like heating temperature as I told you. So there, is a, there are chances that if you are adding boric uh, acid or boron oxide separately in rhyming mass, a lot of variables will uh, get added to your process. So to avoid this, another variable, you can choose the premix rhyming mass for the lining. So you can get a premix rhyming mass with boron oxide or boric acid in the market. You can choose it to avoid all these variables. This will give you better results, save time, avoid variables, and most importantly, give you better lining life. So thank you very much for uh, attending this uh, presentation and video and spare your time. Thank you very much.